Fetch is a modern way for JavaScript to perform network requests, for example, to load data from remote servers. In this short video, I will show you how to use Fetch to perform HTTP requests. My name is Maxim and I make tutorial videos to help you build your development skills easier and quicker. So if it's interesting for you, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and let's go. To call Fetch, you need to pass URL as a first argument. You can also pass an options object. If you don't pass it, it will be just regular GET request that will fetch data from remote server. After you call fetch, the request is performed immediately, resulting in a promise. When server responds with headers, this promise will result with built-in response object. For example, let's change our URL to something real. I'm going to use Pokemon API as an example. Let's remove the promise variable and then I will pass new URL. After it, we can use then method to get our response object. First, we'll just log it. Let's save the code and as you can see on the right pane, we got the response object. It contains headers, status number, OK, true, that specifies that request was performed successfully, and it contains body. But to parse it, you need to use additional methods provided by response object. To do it, I remove uh, console log, and I will call method JSON on our response object. Next, I can add another then call where I will get parsed JSON representation of our data. So I define inline function that is getting data and I log it. Console log data. As you can see, we got data describing our Pokemon. If you don't need to use JSON and you're expecting just simple text, you can use text method. Then you will get plain text representation of your data. This flag will be true for all status calls from 200 to 299. Keep in mind that you can only use one body reading method on response object. So for example, if I call not only text, but also response JSON method, response JSON, and I will return this value, then it's not gonna work because I have already called text on response object. Now, how to handle errors? Now, let's try to fetch data that doesn't exist. For example, Pokemon with my name. You would expect that we could use method fetch to log the error because we will get an error code, 404. Let's see what happens. We get the 404 code, but we don't get the error message. Why is it so? This is because server error codes are not considered errors for fetch API. Only network errors, for example, if you can't connect to internet at all. Or if something happens inside fetch method, you will catch the error using catch method. So to process server errors, you will need to look at status code. You can use status awk as a signal that request was performed successfully. Otherwise, something wrong happened. Let's log success. So success if everything is fine and log server error if we get some error code. Now we get server error message. So this is how you process server error codes. Now we know how to perform regular GET requests, how to post data. For this example, I'm going to use another API. It's JSON placeholder that allows me to send arbitrary data to it. Here, for example, I'm making a POST request. And as you can see, I'm now using our options object. First thing we're going to do is specify our method. We specify POST, but it can be anything. It can be update, delete, put, any HTTP method. Next, we specify our body. This is the data that we're trying to send. If we want to send an object, we need to stringify it using JSON stringify method. Next, as we're trying to send JSON, we need to specify our content type. And it is application JSON with char set UTF-8. When this is done, we need to specify our then handlers. The response we're gonna get will also be a JSON object. So we will parse it using JSON method, and then we will log it to our console. And as you can see, we got our object, proving that we successfully created a new post in this fake API. That's it about Fetch API. If you like this video, then check out other videos linked over here and subscribe to my channel to see other videos just like this one.